Hello. I wonder sometimes if you go shopping. If you do, I hope you're allowed to choose things sometimes. Alfie liked shopping too, but this time he decided to open his own shop. Let's see how he does it. In Alfie's back garden, there was a big bush. You could lift up a curtain of leaves and walk inside. It was a nice private place. One afternoon, Mum gave Alfie a long cardboard box to play with. He took it into the bush and put it down on its side. It made a good counter for a shop. Then Alfie and Annie Rose looked around the garden for something to sell in the shop. They found plenty of things lying about. Flower petals, seed pods, acorn cups and lots of different kinds of leaves. They laid them out on the counter using some very big leaves as plates. They pretended they had vegetables and crisps and sweets and ice creams in their shop. Not the kind you can really eat, of course. And toys, too. When everything was nicely arranged, Alfie decided that what the shop needed now was some money. He fetched a little brown box with a lid and they collected a lot of flat, greenish, yellow seeds, which rattled about inside like, like real money. Mum and Grandma were sitting in the garden having a cup of tea. Alfie asked them if they were coming to buy something at the shop. Yes, of course, said Grandma. But what's the name of your shop? Is it the Alfie and Annie Rose General Stores? No, said Alfie. It's called Lewis Burroughs and Company. He knew that there was a proper shop called that in the high street. Alfie put on his peak cap to open up the shop, and Annie Rose wore an apron to be Mr. Lewis Burroughs' lady assistant. Then Grandma and Mum came by to do some shopping. First they bought cabbages and ice cream. Then they bought lettuce and crisps and a model helicopter and doll's tea set. Mr. Lewis Burroughs took the money and counted out the change, and his assistant handed things over the counter. The shop stayed open all afternoon. When it was time to go indoors, Mum made a notice and fixed it with a piece of string so that Alfie could hang it up outside the shop. On one side it said, Open, but when you turned it round it said, Closed. Even Mr. Lewis Burroughs has to go to bed sometime, I expect, said Mum. Well, I hope Alfie and Annie Rose sold lots and lots of things when they opened their shop the next day, and made lots and lots of money too. I wonder how long Alfie kept his shop open before he put up the close sign, because there was something very exciting that had happened in a field nearby. A tree had fallen down. A big tree lying down is like a giant with torn out roots instead of feet. It's like a ship sailing far out to sea, or a house with many rooms. It has places to hide and swing on, and climb along. A big tree lying down is a good place to play, but you can never make it stand up again. Not ever. Wow, those children really seem as if they're having a wonderful time. I hope they take a lot of care so that they don't fall off that tree. Hey, I can see Alfie. He's the one on the tree, kneeling down in the greeny-blue shirt. He looks very happy. And I can see a little girl sitting down in pink dungarees in front of the tree. Oh, it's Annie Rose. I bet those children want to stay there forever, because it's so, so much fun. Bye-bye.